It's been one week since school started in Metro Nashville, and despite all the work teachers and staff did to prepare, there was one big thing that just fell through the cracks. The issues caused a major problem for bus riders across the district. News Channel 5's Junkle Newland is at the Board of Education. What, what's caused this problem, Junkle? Yeah, good evening, ladies. Across the district, many students waited on the bus stop to go to school, and after school, they waited at school for the bus to take them home. But in many cases, they were waiting a long time. That's because the buses never showed up. But in this year, it's not a lack of bus drivers, rather a problem transferring to a new database. Students, parents, and teachers were prepared for the start of school. There was just one problem. Some students had a hard time getting there. I mean, we always have kinks that have to get worked out. This year, we've had buses not show up. Um, Different clusters have had kids dropped off at wrong schools, and so it's definitely been worse this year than in the years past. Parents like Sarah Galloway have had to go out of their way to make sure their kids got to and from school. We've tried to make light of it and not get very upset by it, but it is frustrating. We know how frustrating this is for families. Uh, it's extremely frustrating. We're seeing that frustration when families talk to us. We're seeing that frustration when families call our call center. Um, so we know that this is very frustrating, and we are sincerely sorry that it happened. During the summer, the district moved to a new student data system, transferring 88,000 student addresses from the old power school system, which is being phased out, to the new Infinity Campus system. But when the transfer was made back in July... About 2,000 or so student addresses didn't make it. It meant staffers have had to spend the last several weeks adding and verifying 2,000 student addresses into the new system by hand. There's a large team of people pulling a lot of long hours to make this happen. They hope to have it worked out by the end of the week with routes in order by next week. Now, right now, it's not clear if it was human error or a computer glitch that led to this problem, but I can tell you that Metro Schools is not the only agency that had a rough start with bus transportation. Several Nashville charter schools also had a problem at the beginning of the year. Now, we reached out to one of the directors of those schools. She wrote us back saying, in part, quote, the bus company rocket ship contracted for the school year, school year ACR transportation, was not prepared to deliver on their service agreement with rocket ship and four other charter networks. 4,000 families across 11 Nashville charter schools were impacted by unacceptable transportation failures last week. Now, she went. She did go on to say that this week they do have the bus, buses and bus drivers in place, and right now they're revising all of those bus routes. At the Board of Education, I'm John Cole Newland, News Channel 5.